This is the majestic Rhone Valley, a region of great gastronomic richness with a very pleasant climate. The Rhone is the second largest French river and flows rapidly under the attractive suspended bridge in between the two stunning vineyard towns of Tournon sur Rhone and Tain l'Hermitage. It is in Tain that the superb Valrona chocolate is made. It is a favorite of many fine chocolatiers. A stroll in the town market is a pleasure for food lovers. The West Bank of the Rhone is, is famous for growing really good chestnut, and the honey made out of chestnut is outstanding. But the main reason for my visit is to taste the famous red wines of Hermitage from Vigneron M. Chapoutier with general manager Pierre-Henri Morel. So Maison Chapoutier is making wine since 1808. Michel Chapoutier is now running the seventh generation and we are producing wine uh, mostly in the Rhone Valley. And Chapoutier is today the biggest owner of uh, Hermitage Appellation. Uh, we mostly produce red wines from Syrah, it's approximately 85%. And the white only comes from Marsan, uh, which is a grape variety only for the Rhone Valley wines. All of our vineyard is biodynamically grown. In our philosophy, the way we try to make wine is uh, do the minimum as possible in the winery and only reflect the difference of terroirs in, in the wine. We just want you to see the result of a terroir in a bottle and then in your glass and enjoy it. That's it. So we're drinking an Hermitage Monnier de la Cidra in 2009, who comes from the vines behind us, just right here. Um, the Hermitage is a, a very powerful wine made from Syrah that reflects the aromas of, of the leather, of the graphite from the pencil, of the black, uh, the, the, the black berry fruits. You can even have the hinky touch that makes the signature of the Hermitage. Um, the, the, the cold smoke from the fireplace on the, on the morning after. It's a, a magnificent wine, full of, of fruit, uh, not too woody, very easy to drink, a little bit peppery, just a joy. This much-loved fig desserts with caramelized nuts and grapes is so good. First, I cut some perfectly ripe figs in two quarters. Then, heat some butter in a pan and cook the figs with alpha star anise for one minute on each side. The star anise adds a magic touch to this great dessert. Transfer the figs onto dessert plates, add three tablespoons of sugar to the pan and stir until it begins to caramelize. Then add a selection of walnuts, almonds and hazelnuts, as well as a few grapes. Stir to coat the nuts and mix in two tablespoons of cream. I like to place the nuts and grapes in between the fig pieces. It looks so luscious and served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, it creates a great hot and cold contrast. Voilà, les figues rôties aux noix caramelisées. C'est très bon. This is Cap d'Agde in the Languedoc-Roussillon, a very popular family holiday destination. And tomorrow we are testing the flavors of this very sunny Mediterranean region.